Big corporations are fighting dirty to keep their workers from organizing. You could be working for a union buster and not even know it. Here are four of the biggest union busting tricks to look out for. One, anti-union propaganda. Employers turn workers into a captive audience for false or misleading claims about unions. In 2019, Delta distributed pamphlets to flight attendants and ramp service workers warning that union fees would cost $700 per year. But here's what they didn't mention. Unionized workers earn $700 more per month. Weird how they left that part out, isn't it? Amazon wallpapered its warehouses with anti-union ads. Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz claimed he had no choice but to exclude workers at unionizing stores from new employee benefits. Apparently, when you're the boss, you can just make stuff up. Two, your employer hires fancy anti-union firms, lawyers, and consultants. The company claims it can't afford to raise workers' pay, but spends millions on anti-union consultants. Three, delay, delay, delay. It's illegal for employers to cancel a vote on whether to unionize, but they skirt the law to keep that vote from happening as long as possible. And while they're delaying, they try to stop a union's momentum. Before a recent labor election in Buffalo, Starbucks flooded stores with managers to pressure workers. One Starbucks employee reported he was told to go to a meeting only to be greeted by six managers pressuring him to reject the union. So that's how many managers it takes to screw over an employee. Four, if none of these union busting tactics work, your employer might just break the law. Amazon fired a union leader for missing work even though he was on leave to care for a COVID-stricken family member. U.S. employers are charged with violating federal law in over 40% of all union election campaigns. I'm sorry, I just have to pause for a second here. 40% of the time, really? If I broke the law 40% of the time, I'd be in jail quicker than you could say Pinkerton. Are companies allowed to skirt the law like this? No! But labor laws take a long time to enforce, if they're enforced at all. And the worst that can happen is a corporation has to rehire a worker who it illegally fired and provide back pay. No wonder some companies decide that breaking the law is cheaper than following it. It's simply a cost of doing business for a giant corporation like Amazon. But here's some good news. A bill called the PRO Act would strengthen protections for union organizers and make many kinds of union avoidance illegal. Call your lawmakers and ask them to support it today. They won't just be on the right side of history, they'll be on the right side of public opinion. A majority of Americans, including 77% of young people, support the right to join a union. Workers at Starbucks and Amazon have refused to be intimidated and have started to unionize. All over the country, American workers are growing wise to corporate union-busting tricks. Big corporations are fighting dirty to keep their workers from organizing, and they're still losing. Imagine what could happen if they had to fight fair.